Hey guys, this is Sass. Alright, this video is a little different than usual. We're touching on a subject that's slightly outside the realm of RP, but there's enough overlap for me to justify making a video about it. Basically, the question is this. Do you need a house to host a venue in-game? I've said in previous videos that housing is not necessary for RP. You can see people RPing in the open world all the time, especially in the quicksand in Balmung. You nasty little burbs. But a house is useful for hosting a venue. I've always thought that having a physical location to seek out and enter is an important part of the experience of a venue. My venue has you entering a hidden door in a flower shop front, leading down a stairwell to a speakeasy with a far different theme and look than the first story. My intention was to make people think, do I have the right place, when walking in. I'm able to do something like this because I have a house in-game. It took me months to get, and I can still recall all the colorful language I used as I failed to get plot after plot. You f***ing son of a mother damn horse bitch! So, I'd like to talk about this issue in the game. It's no secret that the housing system in 14 has left a bad taste in a few people's mouths. Some people got so pissed that they actually called for Yoshi P to resign. Which, I can only say... What the fuck is wrong with you?! For those who don't know, housing works in this game based off of a hidden timer. When a plot of land opens up, it won't actually be available for purchase until an invisible timer runs out. This results in mobs of people crowding an open plot, clicking on it non-stop until some lucky soul gets the house. And yeah, this system is kinda lame. But people, people's response to it was blown way out of proportion. But I guess the world will always have Karens in it, even in Aorzean. What would an Aorzean Karen name be? Karen? Karen? Anyway. So, what does this have to do with role-playing? Well, with this housing system in place, plots are just less obtainable. This creates a bar for entry that can only be surpassed by sheer luck. But don't worry, there is an avenue less explored than you would think. And like most of my advice, it's actually just common sense with my handsome face attached to it. It's pretty obvious when you think about it too. Apartments, that's right. These little shacks are fantastic resources for getting started out. If you think, oh, I'll just hold out until I get a house. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. You're gonna be waiting a while. But who cares? These apartments give you a lot of extra space for holding housing items, which means a cleaner inventory overall for you. And as we all know, any form of storage in this game is worth its weight in gold. Or, uh, gill. Not to mention, if you're absolutely dead set on getting that medium in the mist, like I am, you might as well practice how you lay it out in the meantime. Because you're gonna be waiting a while. At least until the housing system gets that teeny little facelift and end walk. And besides that, why wait? Open a venue in an apartment. That's right, an apartment is a perfect alternative to hosting a venue in a house. They're easier to get, since the demand is low, at least on Zolera. They're easier to manage, since the venue is so small, people will usually funnel exactly where you want them to go. And they're easier to decorate, since you have less overall space to cover. Not to mention, actually finding an apartment based off of party finder info is actually easier than a house. We don't all know where Plot 24, Ward 11 is located or what Etherite is closest to it, but we all know where the top mast is. Or whatever apartment complex you're in. Occasionally in the past, I would forego the floor tank and open up a smaller, more in even more intimate bar in my apartment. But I've opted out to use it as a studio for production space instead for now. How else do you think I got those sweet green screen shots? That's actually a blue screen. Yeah, check it out, it's pretty cool, right? The uses for one of these apartments are it's, it's vast, you can do anything with them. Set up a photo studio, set up a little place to take your little ERP dates, I don't know, that's a thing. And anything else, really. So get out there. Do what so many millennials dream about and buy some property. <laughs> but let's just say you don't want to deal with an apartment. 
or housing in general. Can you still host something? Yes, absolutely. In-game events are not so uncommon. This is where Party Finder advertisements come into play. I'll cover these more in my venue management video, but for now, let me give a brief example. Occasionally, I use my whale mount to do an open world RP. The PF invites people to come to Eastern Lenosha and shout, I need a beer. When they do, I send them a tell asking for their location and descend upon them to give them a bizarre RP experience. My method is a bit out there, but it fits my character's personality. And the limitation of not having a venue to use forces you to be creative in how you approach things. The tone of how you do things is up to you. I, uh, I just enjoy comedy. That's going to be all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. The next one is going to be focused on venues and managing them. Thanks for watching. Cheers. And don't forget to tip your bartender. Ward 11 is, or whatever, but we all know where the damn top mast is. Seto!